Hello everybody, this is Goobberry and welcome back to the continuation of Ultimate Admiral Age of Sails. So, in this uh, latest mission, uh, what we're trying to do is we're going to fight some uh, ships of the line. Yes. Once again, we're coming to fighting ships of the lines and uh, these ships of the line are practically invincible ships so the only way that we can get rid of them is by having uh oh boy is everything's so damn costly uh hate the fact that everything's so costly uh just give me a second let me have a look at what i did earlier <coughs> fine let's go with uh lightweight guns can at least help me increase my number of crew upgrade having more crew will at least help me a little bit all right <clears throat> so yes as i was saying objects in motion it seems we have lured the now combined french american forces out to open sea where we stand a better chance unfortunately the rest of the fleet has been engaged elsewhere and you will have to engage the main French ships, the main French fleet accompanied with ships of the line. So here you go. Uh, we have ships of the line uh, that will come to attack us. And uh, the big problem with this uh, mission is that these ships of the line are practically invincible. Nothing destroys them as I was telling earlier. So we need to use fire ships against them. and. Uh, what I'm finding here is that uh, there are two ships of the line. So the risk of getting a fire, first of all, the thing is uh, the some of the problems that I'm facing right now in this uh, mission, which is really frustrating to me, is that uh, the fire ships, they have around speeds of 10 and 9, etc. But for some reason, once the battle begins, those ships, they travel at speeds of, uh, you know, around 3 or 4. You know, that's how it looks when compared to the enemy because uh, a ship of the line can travel faster than this. Uh, even my own ships, uh, my transport ship seems to be traveling at the same speed of uh, my, uh, you know, the brig, etc., which I've converted, the cutters that I've converted into, uh, like, for example, FS Hastings, speed 9.6. Now look at the FS uh, Restarte, which is my merchant ship. It's 5.2. So a 5.2 ship seems to be traveling faster than 11.9 or a 9.6 ship. Don't ask me how that's happening. It's actually, it's happening though. And uh, yeah, that part is really frustrating me because um, the ships, once I've put them in a position where I think I can uh, go in for an attack, they don't move at all. And the enemy ships of the line just needs a few... Uh, Two volleys of cannon fire and they are able to destroy the fire ships which is what is happening so uh, you know just bringing forward fire ships and then i'm just sacrificing them like pigs to the enemy which i don't understand why the game is uh being this harsh in that case but if that happens again in the in the real mission that i'm going to try now then uh the mission is probably going to be a fail i'm also thinking is it actually worth it to, you know, go for so much money? I mean, even 66k is uh, well and good, right? Four reputation, 66k, it should be a pretty good, uh, uh, you know, reward. But I don't know if, uh, you know, weakening the enemy means that the ships of the line will also be, uh, you know, reduced. I think it's uh, standard. There are two ships of the line, which is, which is the problem right now. So let's just go with follow the orders difficulty and uh, see how things turn out hopefully this time my ships stop being a pain in the ass and uh, they actually do their job properly because the time when i tried they were really frustrating me to no end as i was constantly trying to get my ships to move into position and uh, burn the enemy one thing that i noticed is when the when your ships start to burn the enemy uh, the enemy ships, they stop uh, firing, which is what we want. 
I have always dreamed of the day where a mighty fleet of ships under my command would sail forth for the glory of king and country. Today that dream becomes true. My forward line approaches the enemy and the giant sails of French line ships are visible far into the distance. The odds are not in our favor but my men are steady and prepared. Jesus. Our reconnaissance reports indicates that the French have at least one ship of the line reinforced by a rebel light squadron. It is better to keep our light forces at a distance from the enemy just in case they have to pull back under the protection of the main line. It is unlikely to score a decisive victory but we can hold them long enough until we retreat when night comes. Yeah, I don't I know what the what it means by night comes this that etc because uh nothing comes <coughs> nothing actually comes for you. I, I never experienced any night etc any of the anything on that of that nature whatsoever so that is probably a lie uh but we'll see as always i'm going to try to keep an open mind for this mission because i tried it once and it i failed and really pissed me off hopefully i can get it this time or you will you will see exactly what i mean it, that is probably is what's going to happen but you know hopefully not let's hope for the best hms berry free is the one ship that carries the entire mission <coughs> oh yeah and uh, hms berry free sunk in my test run uh the f it was a really funny situation and that's the may i think that might have been the reason why i actually got frustrated so what happened was HMS Berry Free got the flooding symbol on it and uh, I took it out of the war zone so that it could retreat. It, it said it successfully retreated and the ship went out of sight and then after a while, after around uh, you know 5-10 minutes of combat, suddenly it just says uh, HMS Berry Free has sunk. I don't understand what the... Uh, re I mean why you have to retreat ships if even after retreat it's going to still uh, sink <clears throat> then what's the use of retreating ships i don't understand <clears throat> sorry about that i am down with a bit of cold oh boy he's attacking me from back first <clears throat> not how i want to end up in a fight Because the armor is pretty weak uh, at the back for uh, HMS Berry of all ships in general. Hopefully, I can take down floor quickly. Come on. HMS Hope, HMS Stinky. Uh -huh. Wait, what the hell happened? Where was HMS? Uh, I don't know, I'm a bit confused. For some reason, whoa, look at that. All of a sudden, HMS uh, Dingleberry, which has around 8 speed, has slowed down to a crawl. It is no longer capable of combat. There goes uh, my support for uh, Berry Free. On to the next things. HMS So Long. HMS Hasting. I mean, FS Hasting. FS November. And finally, our slowest ship, FS Restarted. Which in my test run was the only ship that successfully burnt the enemy. But the losses were like too stupid and too great. So I... Uh, anyway, I had to decide. I didn't record it, so... It was a good thing in a way, I guess. Up. To go forward. <coughs> HMS Hope and HMS Stinky can... Floor has surrendered. That's good. 
ship surrounding right at the start is a good thing. Hopefully, maybe I can get, uh, you know what, here. You, deploy. Pause, deploy. Very free. Deploy. Go, 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 go. Quickly, royal boil. Get into the ship. Okay, uh, HMS Tinky is no longer in combat. HMS So Long is. Uh, so I had some ship. Uh, I think Stinky was the one that I had to sacrifice the last time. Boss. You too. Boss. You too. Boss. <coughs> Floor, uh, run away. Floor is sunk. Ah, oh, damn it. Fine. Are you attacking your own ship again? Ah, uh, you you might want to turn around. Ingleberry, please do what I say. Save our souls. Save us, save us. going on chips of the line are in coming in line bad against the wind <laughs> wish the wind would change direction definitely not what I wanted <clears throat> okay less sensible the sink I'm okay I'm fine with it Ships also surrender when they are close to sinking. Now if that's going to be the case, then it's fine. Fine by me. No, you're not a group. Stop doing that. Okay. Unfortunately, that ship has started running away. Yeah, I was wondering. It, it seemed like uh, it actually seemed like uh, this ship was uh, sinking. There was water going on board, but then uh, outside the ship was still moving. Come on, come on! This is what this is where game keeps screwing over, screwing me over. going on okay yeah uh, HMS very free you're good good to go USS Pigot a 
Okay, HMS Stinky, I need you here. USS Pigot has surrendered. That's fine. That's awesome. HMS so long. Uh, maybe I use HMS Hopes, uh, some troops from HMS Hope. Yeah, let's take... Uh, Oh, there's a HMS Mustang over there as well. Come on, come on. Both of your ships, come on. Oh, I think I understand where... This enemy ship is... Go oh, okay, it's not. I thought it was heading towards the transport ship. Just to be a pain. Come on. See, this is what I'm saying. Now the ship is uh, completely, it's a ship of the line bait. And they won't move fast. The ship of the lines are much faster now. Which is totally ridiculous. Seriously, Jesus. Such a pain in the ass. Also, let's be a bit careful, cautious. I know from experience, fire ships, once you get this fire ship burning and uh, in collision, collision course with the enemy, the enemy will try to get you as well. He'll try to burn you up as well. Something you don't want to happen. And let's burn. Begin the burning ceremony. Please burn the enemy ship. Yes, the enemy ship is burning. Oh my god, my ships are going to all sink now. <sighs> kind of frustrating right now. Buddy, go forward. Just move. Just move. I don't care where. Just move. It has all the room in the world. Not moving. HMS Hope might sink. It's burning. It's not burning. Not, the, not that way at least. Can I get the screw into uh, HMS uh, FS November? Probably, you know, come from behind and uh, burn uh, La Pamir. Because right now the Pamir is still alive. Which means I'm in trouble. You, meanwhile, run away. Get away. Hector, Hector won't attack anymore. Hector is a bit busy uh, getting burnt. Okay, November. Come this way. Okay, meanwhile, stinky. Stinky is all turned around. He won't do anything right now for us. He's useless. useless. There is a is going to sink. Most likely. As you can see here, 113 crew sails are still at half HP and uh, the ship is still unable to move in the slightest.
These ships are struggling to sit with one another. I don't know what they are doing. Starting to become a bit of a cluster. Is HMS Stinky going to burn? I hope not. My fire ships are really, as I said already, starting to piss me off. Teresa has sunk. So long cannot do anything. Maybe he can provide crew. I mean, just uh, back up or act as bait or something like that. November is his just last cast now. I don't think November is actually even... can even expect anything from November right now. Okay, so all I can hope is uh, I can light this guy on fire. Ah, November has surrendered. Shit. Oh, let's block him. Let's block him. Block him, block him. Hopefully he cannot. November has sunk. Damn it. I was really hoping that wouldn't be the case. And our troop is once again, oh my god, you formed a group. Okay. FS restarted once again. It's pulling it for us. And there you go. Let's just run away. I don't care of, about anything else anymore. Nothing else has to... Any crew member dies, any officer dies, I don't care. Just die. All I want to focus on now is to get rid of this Mustang and win this mission. We have successfully burnt uh, Pamir. Now he's going to try to burn any ship that he comes into contact with. Maybe I can join up with Berry Free. Okay, let's uh, pause. Finally, I can use my full uh, my full effort into destroying the enemy ships and destroying it as quickly as possible. That too. Palmier is slowly dying. There's no way Palmier is surviving this. USS Mustang has surrendered. Yes, good. Stop firing. He surrendered. Okay, he got, we got the USS Mustang. Good trade, I guess. Now all we need to do is wait for uh, the Le Palmier to sink. Last explode, sink, whatever. The entire ship is ablaze now. It's going to, it's. Few more seconds. I wonder if I can. If the Pamir dies quickly, will I still be able to get back uh, FS Restart? Also, what if Le Pamir surrenders, you know? Won't do that, I know. Damn. 
Would it be good if I could get a fire ship and immediately the, the, I could do a mission finish? I won the mission. Yeah, okay. So, all right. So, we finished this mission. Seeing as uh, I was getting a little bit frustrated in this mission. Battle reports, goods report, USS Mustang and USS Bigot. We got two ships. Not sure why music was playing right then. Oof. This was a horrible, horrible battle. But we came out of it somehow. What? Yeah, okay. HMS Hope. At least my, my main battle line was uh, unscathed. Oof. Whoa! Seventh rate armed sloop. What the hell is up with this unit? Look at its planking, etc. It's, it's pretty good. Send to Admiralty. Yeah, you know what? Let's send it to Admiralty. USS Pigot. 7th rate snow. John Snow. You know nothing, John Snow. It has two decks of, sh of cannons. Now, this is funny. Tiny a ship able to do this, but you know what? Fine, let me decide on it. Meanwhile, uh, Admiralty is still not giving me any good uh, ships. I'd rather prefer, you know, to sell off this uh, Unity class and get another Hermione class. Because, uh, whoa, the enemy commander has contacted me and is offering to pay a ransom for a safe return of his captured men. Inform the commander that his officer offer has been accepted and that 277 prisoners will be returned for 1,163 credits. It will improve your reputation by one if I release them on parole. And, uh... You know what? Just let's just reject and uh, hold on to these prisoners. And our next mission will be a blockade. Okay. If you are unable to get, we'll have to. You know what? <laughs> Either way, huzzah! The Royal Navy has once again proven victorious over the French. We truly rule the waves. Oh man, that was a horrible mission. I mean, we knew what was going to happen to us, but still, oof. 13, 7, 26 guns, 38 guns on our Unity class frigates. A Cerberus class has 26 guns, 195 crew, 3, 2, 60, 4, 79. The Cerberus class is better than the occupant class but why is then okay let me see 12 12 10 5 inches 12 12 10 5 inches ah oh, that's why i'm guessing uh what about health hull is 400 sales is 600 else is oh 500 and 720 so the service call is actually better it's sell trophy why is a seventh rate snow so costly 4500 it's almost the same price as my uh, as my uh, stinky 9973 inches 9973 inches huh? 300 400 huh. better than my so long you know what? Let's sell so long. Uh, and instead, let's have uh, purchase. Let's repair it and let's use the pigot. We might be able to get. I don't know why we don't have any good uh, ships. But we're supposed to get, be getting some better ships by now. Either way, that is not one of our biggest concerns. Actually, it is. It is a concern. Either way, meh. Let me look at the more important things that we can deal with right now, like this. 
congreaves. We can get these congreaves on our side. 24 pounder, 11 of them. Just give me all of it. 68 pounder Karen Karenade. Imagine a ship of the line with that many. That type of cannon. Oof. Okay. Since I don't have any good uh, ships to buy, I'm going to just go and start buying other stuff. Why, why don't I have good ships, huh? Oh. Oh. Why? Light infantry tactics. Skirmishers are irregular infantry trained to spread out and fight in small groups on the front and flanks of the main line. They are stealthy and maintain an excellent vision of the terrain around them. They will most likely run rather than engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. What about these guys? What are these guys? Field artillery operations. I have this. The thing is, I am not able to load up any artillery crew crews. I am not sure why. Okay. How do I get these? Oh. Oh, it tells me here. Special design by special request from Admiralty Bloomfield has produced specification for a 42 pounder of 9.5 feet weighing 6500 weight. Oof. Such a Some of the largest ships in the fleet are able to carry such a monster and it will allow us to annihilate our force. Bloomfield, huh? Oof. Brass large guns. So for brass large guns, I need to get the lower level one for it. French reboard. The French pound is slightly heavier than the British. Therefore, standard French guns do not match the standard issue British cannonballs. French naval standards requires engagement at greater distances. So their guns are somewhat longer and more accurate. Ah. Respecting their quality, Admiralty is ordering heavy captured French cannon to be reboard up to the nearest English caliber and deployed on our own ships. As you are on the front lines, Admiralty has granted a limited supply of these guns should you need them for a price. Either way, ah, purchase more of these. Always good to have some on hand. And, uh, let me start assigning stuff here. 12 pounder EICs. Okay. Oh, yes. Great. These will also, these will be 18 pounder, I'm guessing. Fine. Lightweight double hulled. Can I do this? Double hulled. It reduces the capacity yeah, a lot. From 820 and 342. Oops. From A20 to 920, from 300 to 400. Yeah, let's do this. Upgrade. Make it a bit better. Um, who do I use for this? Let's go with Ludlow. These are all part of our reserves. Huh. Pretty good reserve. Uh, go for Mike Sellers, I guess. And here we have our sea service. No. no, no, no. I need to go for sea service 38 muskets. Yes, there you go. Reserve. Oh. There you go. This crew is now ready to take on the enemy. Now, let's see. Yeah, why can't I get this? Choose unit type to create. I can't build. He doesn't allow me to build this i'm not sure why you need to research the unit motors okay what about this artillery you need to research the unit why don't i have this unit already oh sorry i mean uh, 
Where is it? Is it? Field artillery. Oh. Oh, no wonder. Oops, my bad. There you go. Finally have some troops. Let me put this guy. Change four LB over to eight LB. Range is higher. Reloading is one forty seconds. One twenty seconds. Thousand five hundred. Two point seven damage. Two point five damage. Let's go for the six LBs. And uh, have around. Uh, need so many 120 100 soldiers yeah, 100 is enough it itself is too much probably go with 90 yeah how about that can i take some from the reserve yes reduce costs there you go i need grenadiers Grenadiers are pretty good right now. More, more. 200, 204, 205. Okay, I think we are ready. We have a better complement now. Six point seven, four point two. Really slow. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five ships that can attack, including Whitby, which is our transport ship. And I guess with that, we are ready to take on future missions. Hopefully, that was a somewhat satisfactory mission. Yeah, I hope you guys like this episode. So, I will catch you guys next time. Till then, bye-bye.